Okay, so we need to service this compass. It has, um, doesn't rotate properly. So I guess it needs a clean out, needs some new oil uh, fluid, and just a genuine uh, service. So I pulled it out the plane, and we're just going to run through a compass service. I'm Nick Holmes. I'm a fueling automation engineer, a voluntary rescue technician, and a passionate aviator. Join me as I take you through learning to fly and onto the adventures of backcountry aviation in South Africa. So what we have is we have a compass repair kit from Aircraft Spruce. Uh, in the kit is an instruction manual on how to do the compass service. And then we've got diaphragm seal and two glass seals. And then a new compass card. So yeah, let's get uh, let's get into giving this compass a service. Okay, so I think what we're going to need is a container, um, maybe another one that'll fit in there. But uh, I think to initially open it up, we'll just do that and start off by saying that we must remove the four screws from the rear of the compass so that would be these four screws here uh, they're quite tight okay so there's one I think I must put these in another tub otherwise I'm going to lose them oh I do have a spare okay, so there's one there's two Let's do it in this tub so then we can at least see what we're doing. Okay. That's number three that we've got to take out. Okay, so. Okay, so it says we must expose the compass diaphragm at the back. Alright, so there's the diaphragm. Okay, so I imagine now what we'll do is we'll just pop that off and we'll pour that fluid out into here. So we'll take this diaphragm off. There we go. And we'll empty all the fluid out. Smells bad, smells like old rubber. Put it back in that tub. Eesh. Yeah, no, this thing definitely needs a clean. All right, I need to find a cloth. Then we must remove the four screws from the front of the from the glass so that's these four okay. now the trick with the removal of the front panel is the glass okay so we take this panel off would help if I took all the screws out. Okay, so you take this panel off somehow like this. Then they say you must take note of the glass. That there's a apparently there's a beveled edge on the glass that you've got to um, that you've got to pay attention to. Okay, so so take this front panel off with the light fitting. Wow, okay, yeah. I mean, look at that. Okay. Look, look at that, um, that gasket on the front there. I mean, it's virtually non-existent. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in that tub. Okay, so apparently there's a bevel, ah, oh, there's a beveled edge there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this compass, I'm just gonna dry it. All right, so there, 
is a beveled edge along the face of the glass. Now, apparently if you install this glass in upside down, it will crack. So, I'm going to gently get this glass out of here. This rubber is, this rubber is like glued itself down inside here. It's so old. Sure, it's going to be so gentle. I mean, this, the seal is disgusting. Okay, so there we go. Glass is out. But I mean, look at that. The seal has virtually just melted into this glass. I mean, look, look at the frost. The glass is like virtually frosty on the inside there. Bit of a wipe, and I mean, look at that. Yep. So this has definitely been needed to happen, but it's to now clean it and get all this. So basically clean this clean this edge out nicely, get rid of all excess uh, residue from the old seal and then um, assemble it in reverse. So put the seals back in the glass, them, turn it around, fill it up with fluid. They say you should submerge the whole compass in fluid um, and then seal the back up. So we'll try that and see. Um, We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll be able to get it without any air bubbles. Um, okay, so assembly is rubber seal first. In place, this goes in there. Okay, so put that in. Then we need to put the glass on. I feel like I should be wearing gloves for this. So I don't need fingerprints on this glass. The beveled edge pointed down. Okay, there we go. And then this gasket here goes on. The cork gasket goes on somehow. that I suppose. Um, I'm going to take the old cork gasket off this face and it just peels off. And then we can wipe it down. According to the manual is you need to take this stuff which is compass fluid and you need to submerge the compass in this. So yeah, get tied up pretty well. Right, so okay, so we need to fill this with that and then um, then you need to submerge the compass in, put the diaphragm on the back, submerge it in, move it around until all the air bubbles come out and then tighten the last two screws. So we shall try that, but I think this is going to be too big to, that's not going to, that's not going to be enough to completely immerse this. So I need, I need like a, I need like a cup or something. Let me see if I can find something. Okay, so if I'm on those, that might be better. Uh, assuming this compass does not fit in there. Alright, so the cup is no use. Maybe one of those will do the trick. Let's see. Will that fit in there? No, it won't fit in there either. Oh, this is not fun. Okay. Damn it. Is it 
pull that with, with fluid. Okay, so I think, just thinking about this, you need quite a lot of fluid to do a, a complete submersion. So the actual better way to do this is going to be through the front. Just take the take the, the the glass out again, turn it the other way, and fill it. Okay, so let's just let's just tighten that up. And I bet you if we turn this thing up, there'll be a nice big big air bubble. So basically, it's full of fluid now, new fluid, nice and clean, but, but as you can see, really nice big air bubble over there. So I think to solve the air bubble, we're going to have to turn it up this way. Right, so this is the solution. I'm going to put it in here, I'm going to open this bezel again, and then I'm going to top it up from this way and then put it all back together, squeeze out any excess. Hopefully that will take out all of the air. So let's give that a bash. That is the bush mechanic version of getting the air out of the bezel. And that's it. Compass service complete.